Hi everybody, my name is Dennis. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do install of a water cooler. Now it's the first time I've done this, so I'm going to learn as I go, and you'll get to learn with me. It's an H60 water cooler, so it just goes, it has a 120 millimeter uh, bracket that fastens to where the fan would be on the case. And, well, here we go. Okay, so the first thing we notice here is it's got the stock Intel cooler. Now I attached this fan here, okay, it was a blue LED 120 millimeter fan, but I thought, you know what, I need to do a video anyway, so let's do it on replacing that and putting in the CPU cooler and see how that works. And first, we'll get to the box, I'll give you the details, and we'll go from there. Here's our cooler. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now you have to buy a specific type because the size of the fans are different depending on which one you buy. So you have to check the size of your fan you're going to be using, whether it's 120, 240, whatever. And of course one has one fan, two, that kind of thing. So you have to keep an eye on that. Okay, so here's the first look at the Corsair Hydro Series H60, which will work on either an Intel or an AMD CPU. It's a high performance liquid CPU cooler. Let's have a look inside the box. Okay, so once we get in the box, of course we have our little manual here. It tells you how to set it up, everything like that, which I'll be looking at to make sure I do it right. And just a piece of styrofoam, we'll get rid of that. And we have our contents. Well, first we open it up. It already comes pre-applied with thermal paste. And you've got your loops for your cooling. And let's just get it out of the box here. Alright, so typical of what I've seen in the past. You've got your radiator, which will go up against where your fan is for your 120 millimeter slot. And again, the uh, CPU has, or your water block has the uh, thermal paste already on it. And this is your uh, fan, where you plug your fan in. All right, to control your loop and whatever. Okay, looking some more here. Okay, so it does come with a Corsair fan. Which is a nice little bonus, because I didn't know it came with it. I assumed it would, but you never know these days. So, there we go. Uh -huh, so you can see that, and it's got the same little connector here for your plugging it in. And we already have that on the case, so I might actually just use the one that's on the case because it's an LED blue. Okay, so you get your different brackets. One's going to be for AMD, one's going to be for Intel. This one here would be your AMD bracket, I'm pretty sure. All right. And one of these is going to be for the Intel. It depends, of course, on your processor, which one it is we'll use. And we'll figure that out. And last but not least, is all your screws and everything you're going to need in order to put it together. And that's it. Nothing else. Okay, so just having one more look in the box. So here's, this way you can see everything that comes inside the box. So this is a good look at everything that comes together when you buy the H60 from Corsair. Okay, so just to explain a little bit more what these different things are. This one here is the AMD bracket. Okay, so I just, I thought that's what it was, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew that's what this was. This one here is an Intel bracket. Now, because of the system that I'm putting one in, it's a little bit older. This is also the Intel, but it fits the 1150, 50, 1155, 1156, and the 1366. And that'll be your back plate. So basically, we're going to use this, some of the screws in here, our radiator, and of course the fan, which I, of course I said that we can use the LED fan if we want to give the case just a different look. Alright, so let's get this puppy installed. Okay, so just so you can see basically how this is going to go together, you've got your back plate here is going to go on the back of your motherboard. Okay, so your four long screws, which are, are these, and your little washers, which are these ones here, are going to go through the back. Okay, see so it's at the back of the... Uh, computer where your fan is on the front so I'm gonna to have to retake these screws I've already get in here I'm gonna take them out put these ones in instead 
and this will go on there as well so it'll fasten the whole thing together okay so that's step one okay so step two is just this uh, so basically these ones here these are your kind of like your standoffs so they're going to go on the, so it'll fasten to it all right and then of course you'll get to this step and then we'll f put that inside now so it's going to go on this here basically so i'm going to show you that so don't worry uh, if i'm saying this just a little inaccurately but we're going to show you the whole process so your final step is once you fasten on with the thumb screws which are these on the front of your motherboard then you're going to go find a power and you're going to plug your power in and that will pretty much be the end of it so let's get doing that stay tuned okay so one thing i realized when i was talking about this is this fan is led because the radiator is going to set up against it there's no point in it being led so i'm just going to take this off and put the original one that corsair provided on there and save this for a different uh, build so the first thing we do is just disconnect the fan just pull it off okay simple and now the cpu i've already loosened these okay so we're going to undo the cpu uh, power connector okay and then we should be able to just pull it up there we go so one more that's a little stubborn it's a little stubborn there we go now it's out well that's the end of intel's top cooler for that so we're gonna have to clean off the thermal paste that was already on there clean that all up and that's the next step so i just dabbed this uh, paper towel with uh, isopropanol like mine is i think 95 percent so just we're going to clean that all off Make sure we get everything off of there. Make sure it's all nice and clean. And just let it dry it up a little bit here. So when you look at your motherboard, okay, you can see the holes here. There's one, two, three, and four. So on the back of this motherboard, that's where you're going to put your bracket. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to mention is I didn't think I needed this, but you definitely do need that. What happens is this fits over top of here. Okay, so easily it just goes in and it will snap on. Okay, so it just snaps on like that, and then when you go to put this over the CPU, after you, of course you remove your plastic covering, then this will, once you go, and you're, you've got your back plate on already, this will fasten to it, and then it'll hold it in place. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that because I was a little confused when I first did it, I wasn't sure, because again, this is the first time I've done it. I'm trying to show it to you so and I want to make sure I'm accurate so that you get the right information so let's start with the back plate and continue from there something else I just wanted to mention is you have this uh, tape here this little here you can take that off um, and it'll it becomes sticky and you can stick it to the back when you're on it or you can leave it on it I don't think it really makes a difference but just to pass that on there so when you're looking at this one of the things you want to notice is this here this will adjust either inward or outward based on your CPU so you can make sure it fits for the holes. So when you go to put it in, okay, you want to line it up properly. And once you've got it in the holes, and we'll just go in there. And that's it. So that'll hold it in place. So now you can just go to the other side, put your screws in, and away we go. So we'll do that. So once you've got your backlight installed, you've got your holes here. These are where your screws are going to go in, where your standoff are going to go. So you got you can see them protruding through. So when I do this, okay, there's a long end and there's a short end. So I decided to put the shorter end in here. So when I install it, you just simply find it. Now I do it diagonally just because that's when you do a power supply or anything like that. That's just the, the way I've done it. So just screw that in. It becomes nice and tight. Okay, you can't really over screw it. I suppose you could, but I don't know why you would want to. And I'm just going to do that diagonally. And then I'll just uh, I'll show you after it's done. Okay, so I've got my four in here. The four standoffs. So for lack of a better word. Now, before I go ahead and put the mount in, on here and then secure it, I'm going to first remove this fan. And all it is is just four screws in the back for here. 
I'll take it off and then we'll go ahead and proceed with the next next step okay so there's a bit of noise in the background here so I apologize for that I'll try and get rid of that when I edit this video so basically I did the standoff screw here and there so once I had the bracket on I put it in there and everything seemed to go okay so I mounted it on the corner here and the corner down there and now I'm going to do the other two and then I'll proceed with putting it on the back here so here we go so One thing I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's all paranoia, whatever. I'm just going to snug that like I would a standoff on a um, motherboard, just to make sure it's just snug. Not, certainly not over tightening because I don't know what that might do to the CPU. But I also don't want it so loose that it potentially comes off because who knows what that might cause. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is mounting the fan and the bracket radiator here and hopefully I can capture that okay okay so a couple things I just wanted to mention as well is on the uh, cooler there's plastics so just make sure that you take that off whether it does any damage or not I don't really think it will but just remove it just to be on the safe side okay there we go a little piece there but I'll get that after and before I turn it on and I put the radiator in um, it's a little trickier to do than I thought not terrible but on camera it's a little hard so basically I just did this screw here and the one down in the corner just to fasten it in place this is a bit tight but it's not that bad I mean this does adjust as well okay so just in case you're wondering you can move that up if you want to get it off of your GPU if it's on it it does kind of look kind of cool so now I'm just going to go ahead, I just push this back through, it'll go through here, it goes through the little one, and then it just kind of tightens into here. So I just started off with tightening it with my hand, just to get it going, and then just tighten it with a screwdriver. And once I feel it getting snug, I stop. Okay, then I just go down and do the remaining one, which is just this one here. Now, I've already lined everything up, I hope. If I didn't, I'll have to... Okay, so if you don't, like I just didn't, okay, just loosen them up ever so slight. That lets you readjust. Okay, so just to loosen these a bit, readjust them, because one of the holes didn't quite line up. So now I'm just going to re-tighten it. Nice and snug. Remember, don't go too tight or you could strip it. Now that is in there just ever so little. There's just enough that the, your, your side of your case is going to go back on with no problems. And it's securely mounted. Okay, it's in there good. Now, I'm used to air coolers and stuff like that. So it's a little different look than what I'm used to. But I do quite like it. And I'm just going to get that last little piece of plastic out there because that's kind of bugging me. There we go. So at this point, there's only two things left to do. You want to hook on your CPU fan. Okay, so that one's installed and the one right directly behind it is going to be the one for the fan. So we're going to plug that in too. Again, when you do that, these little notches, just make sure they line up. Okay. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. And now, of course, the only thing left now is, of course, to power it on. And make sure everything is working. And then we can look at our thermals. I'll just do a quick uh, view of the screen. Okay, so before I was getting around 43 to 45 on idle. And you get up a little bit after 50. So as you can see here, it, right now the temperature is at 26 down to 23. And it's under no load at all. So I'm, in me, I'm guessing that once it's under a full load, it'll be every bit as good well probably much better than it was before so all right all right everybody well i hope you liked that video i hope i showed you how to do it along with myself learning for the first time how to install a cpu cooler uh liquid cooled of course uh, if you have any questions please post them down below and i'll get right back to you uh hopefully i've answered all your questions 
uh, and put out all the information that's there. If I left anything out, again, please just ask me and I will certainly provide. All right, so if you like this video, give me a like. If you don't, you know what to do. Please subscribe, that helps me out a lot. And stay tuned to my next video. By the way, this was built in a Focus G, sorry, Fractal Design Focus G case, which I built a system into. It's not a new system, it's just uh, something so I can test some stuff on. And um, so this went pretty well. If you want to see a review of that case, I'll link it in the video. Thank you. Take care.